I wanted to add a really small monitor to my computer, so I bought this. What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda, I just bought this monitor. It's by DCOM, and this monitor isn't necessarily for computers. I think it's just a small monitor that you can use for anything. You can put this in your kitchen so that you watch a little TV. You can use this in a car, strap it to the back of a headrest, and I believe that is because it has all of those legacy ports that you might expect. So you can see HDMI, VGA, we have those RCA ports right there. Looks like we also have a coax here for an antenna, and then the power port right there. And it even looks like some built-in speakers here. Now, it's not the smallest, thinnest, latest tech or anything like that. It's actually pretty thick right here. It's probably about three quarters of an inch thick. And then with this back here, it's probably an inch and a quarter. So, but this is all plastic and it's very light. It does have a little bit of a brushed type of finish here on the front. This is actually an infrared receiver here because this little bad boy comes with a remote control. So... Now, I will say that this screen here is not that big. It's obviously not an anti-reflective finish. It's very glossy, but it's a small 8-inch screen. And I actually wanted that because I actually have a very big 49-inch monitor, and it doesn't really register and work like separate monitors. So sometimes when I want to put a small screen, I'm presenting something like a PowerPoint, I want to just run a video, watch a movie, whatever it might be, or it takes up more of my usable space. So I thought maybe just having something like this on the side or in the front or above it might be a great way to just be able to stream some other content Content, watch some other things watch some videos whatever it might be without taking up my whole entire other screen so I'm going to try for that now one of the things I want to show you here is that in this kit in this box we get some metal mounting plates so you can mount this thing I think theoretically to a wall I am not going to do that so I'm not going to be able to tell you how well that works but you can see we have the mounting screws right in there so I think you mount this plate to the wall you can see these little slots here and then you mount this plate to the back and now these little slots right there will slide into that so I don't need to do that. Now, I also want to show you that it comes with this plastic base here. It's kind of small. It looks like a little TV stand. It has metal here on the bottom, and it actually comes with this adhesive pad here, so you can really stick it to things. Now, the problem with this is it's double-sided adhesive, so if you put this down on something, it is going to stay there. Now, I don't need that, but it would have been nice if it just had some, you know, rubber silicon feet on here to keep it from sliding around, keep it from scratching. I don't know that it's going to do that, but I might just put some aftermarket felt feet or something like that on here. Now, what's interesting about this is that the way this mounts to this little plastic base is that we have this little collar here you can see the little indentation there and then we have this piece here which is the mount to hold on the camera now I want to show you that if I unscrew it the two little sides of this base come open here so what I have to do is actually open them up because that little mount will fit in here so let's see if we can do this here might actually have to take the whole thing apart here which kind of don't want to do but kind of the price of admission. Then I'm gonna drop this in here into this little slot, right, okay? And now I'm gonna take this other piece, clamp it back down. So you do have to kind of clamshell this thing in. That's gonna create that permanent attachment there. And now I can put this thumb screw back on here and tighten that back down. So what this allows me to do is before I tighten it down, I can rotate this to a position that I want. And I would say that I'm, instead of having it adjustable this way, I want it adjustable front and back. So I'm just going to kind of twist this around because those teeth are going to hold it in place. All right. So now I've got it generally front and back. And what I'm going to do now is show you that there is a channel on the back here and this little metal plate will slide in there. And now it's going to stay in there by twisting this collar, turning that up. And then I can adjust this up and down. You can see actually here that this is not that tall. And when it's in the vertical position there, it's actually very, very close to the base, which is nice. It's not going to waste a lot of space. But I can angle it up even backwards like this if I really wanted to. It doesn't seem to go below the base there. So I think like this or maybe like this is probably where I'll use it for the most part. Because I want to put it next to my monitor, maybe even in front of it. So... I also want to show you that it does come with an HDMI cord here, and so that's kind of nice that they include that. And I would say this is probably about four feet long here. So you're going to hook this up to most computers, televisions, VCRs, DVD players, Blu-ray players, Laserdisc, then this should work just fine. And then last, but certainly not least, we have a power cable here. Now I know some LED panels are so low power that you can just plug in a USB-C cord into them and it would power it. It'd be nice not to have a second cord here, maybe just have this powered by a USB-C or a Thunderbolt cable, but it's a little bit old school. So, single prong plug here, two prong plug right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this all set up and then we'll see if my computer can recognize it. 
All right, so I'm sitting at my computer and I just plugged it in, plugged it into my Mac Mini, and I will tell you, it is on. And the first thing it is doing here is duplicating my larger screen here. So that is really awesome. I didn't have to do anything with it. Now, one of the things that I will say here before I get too far into it is you can see the power cord peeking down here and then the HDMI cable peeking down here. And they're not crimped or anything. I have it slightly angled, but they're kind of being forced into the bottom here. So what I might do is actually flip this around and then flip the image upside down so that the cords are coming out of the top as opposed to the bottom. But first of all, I will say here, the resolution is actually pretty good. I wouldn't want to necessarily work on an eight inch screen, but that is showing me pretty much everything that I have on my bigger screen. So right off the bat, I'm pretty happy with that. Now it's just duplicating what I have here. I really want to use this as a second monitor when I'm presenting something, when I've got something else running, when I'm editing something and I just want to see it rolling. Like I said, when I'm watching one of my videos, when I'm watching a movie, YouTube, all of those kinds of things. So I want to see if I can set it up as a second monitor now. All right, I went ahead and went into the settings and I've got it set up. You can actually move this around. So I'm just going to place it right here underneath the main monitor because that's where it is. And now I have this window up here. And I thought I would just go ahead and drag this down here and see if I can get it into the screen right there, just like that. And now what I can do here is start moving this around. But I think I can just double click it maximize it for that space and now even maximize it to the screen so what i have here now is a second screen that's not taking up any space it's actually maximizing the space and it's not intruding you know covering up a small piece of this if you ever reference a spreadsheet or a document while you're working on a main application you know what i'm talking about for me one of the things that i do is on a zoom call i like sharing my screen and what ends up happening is it takes up this whole screen and then sometimes they just get this really wide horizontal ribbon shared because it's showing everything. But this is a widescreen 16 by 9 display. So anything I share here, if I share this screen, it's going to look just fine on their side of the computer. And I'll still have my workspace, my presentation space here. So it doesn't take up hardly anything right here, but it's the perfect little add-on eight inch screen that is going to make my workflow a lot better so if better organization and productivity is going to help improve your life i will put a link to this little computer monitor in the description below peter von panda out we can discover more and explore so much deeper we can live better than ever thanks to peter peter von panda I wanted to add a really small monitor mic. Ah!